Welcome to the Delta Math tutorial. Here I will be covering the quadratic formula, but this time with irrational solutions. This is going to be level one. Here it says to solve the equation for all real solutions in simplest form. I'm going to write down the polynomial that we have, which is m squared plus 11m plus 13 equals to zero. All right? Okay, so now we have to put it in standard form. Lucky for us, this is already in standard form. So let's find the A, B, and C. The A is the number in front, which is just 1. The B is going to be the 11, and the C is going to be the 13. Now we plug it in. So X is equal to, please understand, I use X for all of it, but in this case, they use the letter M. So X is equal to negative 11 plus and minus radical 11 squared minus 4 times 1 times 13 all over 2 divided by w all over 2 times 1 now I can simplify I see that X is going to be equal to negative 11 plus and minus some radical divided by 2 times 1 is just 2 I just have to figure out what's in the radical this is when I use decimals so here I go to decimal scientific calculator and type in that. So I need to know what 11 squared is minus 4 times 1 times 13. I saw that is equal to 69. Okay, so this is equal to radical 69. Let's see if radical 69 can be simplified. No, radical 69 cannot be simplified. It's um, irrational. So what I need to do now is keep it like this. So I can say that my solutions are going to be x is equal to negative 11 um, plus and minus radical 6. Well, one of the answers is plus radical 69 over 2. And the second one is x is equal to negative 11 minus radical 69 divided by 2. But let's see if delta allows me to keep it like this. So this is negative 11 plus and minus radical 69. And you see how I select this all? Then I hit the divide symbol. Um, I select this all, then I hit the divide symbol. So that brings it down. Divide this by 2. Let's see if it accepts this answer. Oh, it does. Perfect. So the radical does not simplify. So we actually keep it like this for the delta math. All right? Good. So let's do another problem. We'll start by writing out the polynomial here. I have it as 5c squared plus 7c plus 1 is equal to 2c. All right. So step one is to put in standard form. So to do that, I have to subtract the 2c to both sides, leaving me with 5c squared plus 5c plus 1. My a term is going to be that 5, which is in front. My B is going to be the 5 here. Then my C is going to be the 1 here. Step 2, I can plug into the quadratic equation. So it is x is equal to negative 5 plus and minus radical 5 squared minus 4 times 5 times 1 divided by 2 div multiplied by 5. Okay, I can simplify this. I know that in front, it's x equals to negative 5 plus and minus some radical. I do not know what that radical is yet. And this is going to be divided by 2 times 5 is just 10. I just need to know what goes inside that radical. Okay, to do that, we can use decimals to see what's inside that radical. All right, so it was 5 squared minus 4 times 5 times 1. We saw that it is the number 5. So we can say that it is 5 here. Okay, because that's what the rat, what's inside the radical simplifies to. 
we know that delta math likes it like this. So we can just enter that as the solution here. So it would be negative 5 plus and minus radical 5. Now I want to divide, right? So I hit the keyboard, select this all, hit the divide, and it brings me to the bottom. And I type in a 10 now. Hit submit the answer. Hopefully that's correct. And that is correct. All right. So there you go. The radical does not simplify because this is an irrational solution. All right. So there you go. That is everything that you need to know um, to do for a quadratic formula with irrational answers.